can't believe they put me in one of these things. Zero. This is a big one. Flash versus Best on Tears of the Moon. The winner of this will go into the round of eight. They are guaranteed to do so. So <laughs> the fate is in the hands of the players. Up here in Teal at the two o'clock position is Flash, the Monster Terran, the uh, Terminator, um, one of his many, many aliases, Cheddar, Terran, whatever. Down here in orange at the 6 o'clock base is Best. Best, I think, has somewhat of a disadvantage in this matchup just because of the map. This is a pretty hard map for Protoss to face Terrans on just because Terrans can... There's a lot of opportunities to do sneaky siege tank stuff, just putting siege tanks behind the wall of the natural. And it's pretty hard for a Protoss to fight up their own ramp against mines and whatever that... whatever's thrown at them. There's some Flash fans. Let's get a uh, prediction here from a Nuka Knight. Neo Bowman writes, Gah, me want Flash versus Jadong Epic Finals. All caps, epic spelled incorrectly. Three exclamation points. That's hardcore, man. Yeah, that would be an awesome final. And it's definitely a possibility. Jadong is one of the two players that are already guaranteed to be in the round of eight. I will not tell you the other one because I don't want to spoil any matches. Here comes the supply depot for Flash and the gateway for best. Looking very standard so far. These two are prob they both probably have the best uh, macro in the game right now. I'd say best probably has the best macro. Flash maybe a little bit behind as far as that goes. Because, wow, they're both just so good at just multitasking, getting a large economy up and going, and just crushing the opponent with units. Just tons of units. Flash, on the other hand, I think even though he's like a macro monster, he's shown a lot of creativity in his games as well. Best, I would not consider Best a creative player. I'd consider him a very standard player. Very, very standard. And just very good at his mechanics. See, Best is get starting to get his gas now. He's going to work straight for Dragoons. I don't even know if he'll get out a single Zealot. But here comes the Cybernetics Core. Flash is coming down to scout the very right direction. There's the alien people again. Best, you're the best. Alien best fans. Best kind of looks like an alien, but that's besides the point. Best is going to scout Flash in the last position, getting out a single zealot, going to try to use that to get the SCV out. Nope, he's abandoning that plan. He's going to try to just keep... Well, he might be trying to put on some pressure. He's moving up the map with that zealot right now, so I think he's going to try to put on a little bit of pressure at Flash's base. I think Flash will have enough Marines out to deal with it, though. Flash saw that Zealot running off, so he knows that it's probably going to his base. Dragoon range is spinning, so we're going to see some Dragoons pushing the front as well. I think Best is going to try to be aggressive in this game. Uh, Best is bringing his pro back to his base. Might be looking for cheese in the process. Yeah, I think he is looking for cheese. Best is looking for cheese at the 9 o'clock base. He's going up here. Man, some nice micro by Flash. He kept Best from moving up that ramp completely by just throwing SCVs in there. And now Best is trying to get this pesky SCV scout out of his base so he can put down whatever he wants. Might take him a while to do so. Uh, the SCV goes down. Ninja probe. He just did a ninja hand gesture there. Okay, here comes the robotics facility warping in right now. So I think Best is going to try to do some reaver harassment soon, which could end up working very, very well for him. It would help him to break out of any kind of contain, because most of the TVPs I've seen on this map have resulted in Terrans just throwing in a ton of vultures and containing with mines, just pushing the Protoss back into their natural and taking the high ground which is very deadly, especially when you start putting siege tanks all over the place. And it's very hard for Protoss to deal with that. Looks like we are going to see some siege tanks out soon. And uh, Flash is getting out a pretty substantial group of Marines as well, so you might be thinking about an early timing push of some kind here. He probably assumes that Best is teching at this point instead of throwing down extra gateways. But it's hard to tell what Flash is going to do here. He's a very unpredictable player. 
And yeah, he's coming out with a small timing attack here. I think he's going to go down with two tanks in his uh, marine army here. Best is going to spot this, fortunately for him. So, oh, he cancels the Nexus. So Best is going to have to cancel that Nexus. He knows that timing push is coming, so he's going to fall back to his main while Flash is just throwing more units down the map. Flash wants to end this game very, very quickly. Look at this. This is crazy. He's bringing down SCV as well with a Marine Army. Of course, this Marine Army isn't going to get much done against the Dragoons. He's going to use the Marines mostly to take out the Zealot and keep them away from the tanks. And now he's throwing in some Vultures as well. Might be upgrading mines there as well. Ooh. Yeah, he does have mines already, so... Whoa, it was a very early timing attack from Flash. And Best looking very annoyed. Best already looking very downtrodden, like he's already lost the game. I don't think he has. Flash is actually falling back to his base right now. He, all he really needed to do was just stop that expansion from Best. And that, that was pretty much the goal of this attack in the first place. So he's going to try to keep all of his troops while Best tries to put down another Nexus. He can't do anything with those mines there, though. So he's got to wait for some kind of detection before he even takes his bit second base. Okay, he has an observer in. So I'm not sure what Flash is going to do from this point. He's probably going to throw in a few more vultures to just lay more mines and be annoying. Ooh, a mine actually landing there. I thought Best would take out that mine for sure, but it lands on the Zealot. And it looks like I'm not sure what... Uh, <laughs> All those Marines just sniping that Observer so Flash can take his own base there. I think uh, Flash got what he wanted from that little attack, quote-unquote attack, fake attack. It's pretty much what you do in a uh, TVZ as well. You just fake attack to force your opponent to do something, like put down Sunkins or cancel a Nexus. And it worked out very well for Flash. So Flash just, de just denying that Nexus as long as he can. He sees this pylon up here. He's probably going to pick at that with the vultures. Now that he knows that it's there, well, he might try to pick at this pylon. Might let it live. No, he's trying to get rid of it so he can go in with a drop if he wants to. And Best has a few Dragoons out to spot. Well, <laughs> Flash is still committing himself to a Marine slash tank army here. Marine tank strategy. Best trying to come in here, and I think he is actually going to defend this pylon, so it's a pretty good play from him. He moves in pretty much all of his Dragoons, so to pick that off, I think that's pushing things a little bit here. Well, four Dragoons. Best has a nice little block there to keep uh, Vultures from coming into his base and harassing it. It's one of the main reasons that it's very hard for Protoss to play Terran on this map, just because there's so many entrances here, so many entrances, you can just go around everywhere, and and the siege tank factor is too big to ignore. Flash, of course, is getting out some more factories so he can get a larger army out now that he's macroing up at his natural expansion. It's a pretty flawless play from Flash so far. And Best is going to have to do something a little bit special to beat Flash from this point, I think, since he is going to be economically behind. He has that uh, robotics facility, so he can uh, do a reaver drop probably soon. Citadel of Adun, it looks like he's going to try to go for Dark Templar or High Templar. Uh, from this point in the game, I do think it's going to be mostly High Templar, although he might have a couple of Dark Templar for just going in and doing some harassment. Flash is trying to take the middle, putting down a turret, going to try to protect those tanks. Although I don't even think he needs the turret, really. Well, he uses it for uh, detection. I guess he does need it. But he has a ton of marines in there as well to pick off air units. And Flash coming in with an SEV scout. This is a very uh, interesting scout from him. It looks like Best is teching straight to Arbiters. So he's putting up his Stargate and his Templar Archive. He's going to tech straight to Arbiters, which worked out so well for him in the versus Wasson game. But uh, you never know. He might end up doing this. Here comes... Uh, okay, now I think Best is going to try to push out. I don't think he has enough troops to do it, but he does have uh, Zealot Bombs ready in his shuttle. And I'm not sure if Flash saw that troop from Best moving up the map. He might have seen it. It's going to be very important for him. He's going to get pincered here if he didn't see it. 
Flash looking very, very determined there. Sieging up and taking out a couple of Dragoons here, I think. Well, one Dragoon. Got a lot of damage done on another one, though. And Flash inching forward. This is what every Protoss should fear on this map. The mine contain of the natural expansion. Not looking good for Bass. Best has to keep this contain from happening. If this contain happens, which I've seen happen to most other Protosses on this map, he is going to be screwed. He's not going to be able to take another base, won't be able to move out. Nothing. So he's got to keep this from happening with his entire army. He's got to bring in his entire army to stop this. 